Hey, my lovies. Hey, my, hey, my, hey, my lovies. What's going on, Virgo? Hey, my love. Sending you a multitude of love, light and positive energy. As always, I hope everybody had an amazing day and you are operating at your highest frequency, feeling blessed. I am praying that this reading helps you elevate and brings you some clarity to whatever it is on your mind, some things you may have been contemplating on. Maybe I'm just here to touch and agree with you about you being right about something you left behind. Never know what might come out, but let's go ahead and go for it, okay? Um, Let's see. So I've been pulled in many different directions. We're going to start here. We're going to start with a spiritual message. So I'm going to get a message from Spirit to see what Spirit wants you to know before we dive in, okay? So let's see. All right, these videos are going to resonate with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Hello, sending love and light to all my new family members and all my A1 Day Ones, everybody who is watching. You don't have to be only a Virgo Sun. This is for Virgo placements in general, okay? So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Wow, it's three that popped out, okay? So let's do what Spirit wants you to know before we dive into your message. Then I'll go over these pre-shuffle cards with you. Something that I pulled for you, okay? Hold on, I dropped one. Okay, I can always tell when y'all waiting for me because I feel the pull. I do. I feel the pull. I'm being pulled in so many different directions, okay? Y'all got so many questions. All right, so let's see, guys. Um, We're going to say our prayer before we get into the tarot portion of the reading. Let's start with the oracle cards. All right, so the first thing that came out is new moon and Capricorn. Step up and lead. So you're being called to take the lead. Somebody definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn, all right? And maybe you need to step up and take the lead with this Capricorn and speak out. Let this person know how you feel or call them. Something about a Capricorn and this is some type of new opportunity, okay? Next, last quarter moon and Pisces talk less, feel more. I feel like Virgo, sometimes you can talk your way right out of an opportunity and you don't even recognize it. So talk less and feel more. Let somebody speak, then just feel the energy and it'll help you understand like how this person is feeling. I feel like somebody is dealing with somebody who may be a bit shy. They don't really know how to come off or how you really feel. So step up and take the lead when it comes to this Capricorn energy. Maybe you need to reach out to them possibly or tell them how you feel. For some of you guys, you're getting rid of a Capricorn. Y'all like, heck no, I don't want that person, blah, blah, blah. All right, y'all, so <laughs> step up and take the lead and then close that door. Whatever you need to do regarding the Capricorn, Spirit is telling you to take control, okay? And then be humble. First quarter moon in Leo, be humble. So this is calling you to be humble about the situation, okay? Don't, don't poke your chest out too much. Just slow and steady, you know, easy going. That's going to win the race for you. That's what I'm getting. Um, make sure you're being grateful, gracious, kind-hearted, all right? And not coming off too snooty or whatever the case may be. Just be humble, all right? Just let things flow naturally. So this is what I'm getting about whatever situation this is. But this is what this is saying. Now, this could be about a Capricorn, a Leo, or a Pisces. This is your advice with any of those people, all right? So over here, we have somebody in your energy that is possibly still healing from a situation and this person has chased their energy. So this person could be very well chasing somebody or chasing, they were chasing somebody that they really loved a lot. This person's going through some type of tower moment where they got rejected. Okay, it was kids outside. They were too loud. So anyway, <clears throat> somebody definitely is healing from heartbreak here. From somebody that they could have been chasing, really trying to convince to love them, treat them right. So this person could be coming off a little bit closed. Um, their energy probably is showing that maybe they, they're a little nervous or they're not really sure how to go about talking to you or whatever the case may be. 
But this is definitely somebody who wants to get to know you better. They definitely wouldn't mind linking up with you or talking to you more or seeing where things go. Somebody really likes your vibe, Virgo. Um, and if you're thinking about linking up with this person, I feel like they will be into it. Like they definitely will want to talk to you and get to know you better. Um, Spirit is saying, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, meeting or hesitation. So I feel like you could feel a bit of hesitation or somebody is hesitating here. You probably feel that because honestly, low key Virgo, this person really does want to get to know you and they do like you a lot. So, whoever this new person is that you met, some of you is a Capricorn. This person definitely does like you, but they're just healing. They got their heart broken after chasing somebody for so long that really didn't want them. So, they had to come to a heavy realization. For some of you guys, this person thinks that you are very wise. I feel like you have been talking to them. However, you guys have gotten to converse, they really acknowledge your wisdom. They really feel like you are very wise, Virgo, and they love your positive energy. Not only that, somebody here knows that you're intuitive. So they appreciate your intuition and you encourage them to use their own. So they really, really are secretly praising you. They like, they like you a lot. Somebody is a tad bit shy like they don't like rejection they don't like getting shot down they don't like um the unknown they don't like feeling unsure so somebody is kind of shy they might not come off the way they really feel or think about you and they may not even tell you this but somebody definitely feels that way but then you have keys on a ring many options decisions string along one night stand so maybe because somebody is scared of their feelings and they don't want to be in this chase or energy anymore maybe they are thinking about a one night stand or for some of you guys this could be a separate energy it really does kind of feel like it but maybe this is why this person is standoffish to be honest not showing their true feelings hiding personality pretending gaslighting so somebody definitely could be gaslighting you guys you're gonna have to try to use your discernment to figure out who's who we're also going to use the tarot to let the tarot kind of tell us what's going on here okay and then not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence. So this person, it's like whoever it was that they were sh um, chasing and trying to give their heart to, this person broke their heart. Like this person shot them down. This person did not want them. I feel like they may have been chasing somebody out of their league or whatever the case may be, but this person let them down. Like they don't want them. And so maybe this person hides their real feelings. Also, this person does have options. And this person maybe feels like it's safer to have a one night stand than get your heart tied up in something. Virgo, this could be you guys feeling like that. Take it how it resonates. Tell me in the comments how you feel about that. Do you guys feel like it's safer to have a one night stand or are you feeling like no, it's just, you know what I mean? It's it's safer. I mean, it's safer for you to just go with the flow and then go ahead and see who wants to invest. When you have had your heart broken, does it feel to you like it's safer to have a one night stand than risk getting your heart broke again? Or safer just to wait until somebody's willing to commit? How do you guys feel about that? Tell me in the comments. All right, let's clarify this mask keys on the ring and somebody not feeling like they're enough real quick. Um, Because I do want to know what this is. So let's see what this is real quick. <clears throat> let's use these guys and then we're going to use these for the spray so for keys on a ring mask and not enough i really want to know what this is so let's check it out Holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guys, thank you for blessing us going and blessing us coming out, being the head of our reading. Thank you for your divine hand of protection around me and all of my viewers, subscribers, family members, members, everybody who is watching this video. Thank you for blocking and bonding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, familiar spirits, unfamiliar spirits, and anything that may be trying to block your divine will for our lives. Amen. Amen. And we claim victory in every situation amen hold on y'all okay guys so real quick for the mask card for virgo what do we have here spirit all right three of cups gleeful celebration this also talks about getting together having a drink going out celebrating with friends so somebody could definitely want to take you out 
They're not really showing their true feelings. And this is something that's hidden. They really like you. Um, they feel happy when they're around you. And they do want to go out. But they're not saying anything. Show me more about this Three of Cups energy. What's hidden? Ten of Coins. Last and security. This person thinks about how it would be if they went further with you. Like they think about how you would be in a relationship. Somebody feels like it would be beneficial to be in a relationship with you or get to know you better. Somebody wants to get to know you better. And they also look at you like relationship material. Okay, marriage material, 10 of pentacles, somebody that they could actually invest in and have a good future with. Oh, okay. They look at you like somebody who knows their worth, who stands their ground. With the thinking strategically, they look at you as very wise. Atlas, this this Queen of Swords is holding an atlas. So this person feels like you know the way. It's like they feel like you have, not only do you have a great sense of direction, they also feel like you have the guide or you are a guide. Like you have this wisdom about you. You got somebody intrigued, Virgo. Male or female energy. What else? What else is hidden? What else are they hiding? Two of Cups. Somebody is hiding that they feel like this is a perfect partnership. Somebody really likes you. Okay. But keys on a ring. Somebody has options. Show me keys on a ring. One night stand. Page of coins of recognized opportunity. They see that they can go for this. They get tried to see. <laughs> like they, Somebody realizes that they have options, but they recognize an opportunity with you. So they see you, Virgo. If you're wondering, they see you. They do have options. They have other places that they can go, but they like you. The devil is a Capricorn. Destructive indulgence. This person could smoke weed, drink party too much whatever they're doing they're doing it in excess also the devil was my sex card page of coins this person recognizes an opportunity like they could persuade you <laughs> somebody sees that they could persuade you to get what they want from you virgo male or female baby because somebody wants you not enough somebody um has lack of confidence self-sabotage they feel like they ruin things um, and ego issues. Somebody lets their ego get in the way. Maybe they're looking for something different or they're chasing the wrong thing. This is how they got heartbroken here. But they met you and now maybe they're thinking, show me not enough. Somebody may feel like they're not enough for you. Eight of Swords, they are doubting themselves. This is why Spirit told you to make the first move. This is actually a good opportunity. Somebody else is single too. This is not a third party. This person is single like you are. They don't have anybody. So this might be a good opportunity for you, Virgo. Look, <laughs> they're hiding their feelings because they're shy. Hierophant, look at this. Self-doubt when it comes to a relationship. Hierophant, tradition, family love marriage like somebody is doubting themselves like they would be enough for you doubting if you would take them seriously somebody wants to make sure you wouldn't cheat on them this person's thinking about that oh virgo this might be a good one oh, they see you as a recognized victory spirit is telling you like this could be something good let's be honest <gasps> the chariot forward movement preserving willpower they thinking about this they're gonna they're gonna shoot their shot a glorious win. They're going to shoot their shot. They know that this is worth it. I like it. Ooh, dang. Well, here go the spread right here. Let's see what else you need to know. I like this. Dang. Hold on. What's this destructive indulgence? Is this sex or what is this? Oh, cherished memories. Um. So sometimes this person gets sad about the past. Um, this person could smoke and think about the past and the things that they messed up. Also, this person could be thinking about the times that they spent with you or if you, wherever you met this person at or however you met, they're thinking about that. So it might not be that many times you saw this person, but they thinking about the times that y'all spent, the time that you talked, whatever the case may be. Also, this person thinks about how they spilled out all these cups from the past and maybe messed up their relationship 
or relationships in the past. Let's find out what you need to do moving forward. Hold on, let's see. I, look, I didn't know where this reading was going, but baby, it's going somewhere. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Show Virgo what they need to see. What's the outcome here? What is the what should Virgo do for their best interest? This is also soulmate energy. If this is a Capricorn, you're a Virgo, baby. All right, so there is a perfect partnership here, an opportunity for that. These just fell out. Y'all know I don't really want to take them, but let's see. Oh, hold on tight and nine of cups, which is granted. Wow, y'all. Okay, look, Virgo, we, we got to keep these because it goes with everything else. And I really believe that Cupid is trying to do some work here. And I also really believe that you should take the initiative, be the first one, make the first move in this situation. This person is not seeing anybody else. So you definitely, yeah, you need to do something, Virgo, because you like this person too. Y'all see the potential here. Both of y'all play it cool. Like you guys vibe off of each other's energy. It's a, it's a match. It's a match. I cannot believe this reading. Oh my God. Look, I'm almost scared to get excited, but we're going to have faith, justice, a fair judgment. You both deserve this. I feel like you can encourage this person like to believe in themselves, to understand, look, it, it's safe for you to start building. Like you could build a foundation. It's safe for you guys to start building, start building this friendship so it can grow. And eventually with this person, it will grow to the Ten of Pentacles. You're not going to be able to see this on the surface. You have to take a chance. This is what Spirit is trying to tell you that with this particular situation, you may have to take a chance. You're going to have to take a leap of faith and trust. Ethics over emotions. Ethics over emotions, Virgo. With this King of Swords energy, this is you being ethical and strategic, like not emotional, not worrying about the past, worrying about being hurt, being afraid. That's emotions. Spirit wants you to be logical. Think. Like you see how this adds up. You see how things go when you guys spoke to each other or whatever the case may be. It's worth a shot. And spirit is like, you took a gamble on some worse opportunities. Like, you might as well see where this goes. <laughs> For a lot of you guys, it's a really good catch. You are a good catch and they are a good catch. So it's definitely worth it. So when we ask what you should do for your highest good, this is saying justice, a fair judgment with this person. Like, give it a try. Spirit is saying, go ahead and start. Say something, flirt with them, talk to them, get to know them, see where this goes. Oh my God, Virgo, you met somebody. This is a good one. I'm so excited for you. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I know y'all like, you are a nut. I don't know what to say. I can't believe it. It's no toxicity. I just knew when we looked behind this mask, it was going to be hell on wheels. But this is, this is, this is nice. I love it here. Okay. <laughs> this is nice. You're going to love this. Okay. Holy Spirit, show Virgo. What do you want my Virgos to know? Well, Spirit said, you got to change something if you want something different to happen. It says you can choose to be lost in the labyrinth of life or use these trials to harness your inner strength. And come out stronger and wiser. Okay. So what did you learn about the past? About holding your feelings in. About not taking a chance. Even if it's walking away from something that doesn't serve you to walk into something new. What did you learn about speaking your mind? Doing things that make you truly happy. Taking a chance. A leap of faith. What did you learn about God and how he supports you if you take a leap of faith? It just is something to think about. All right. Ask yourself some questions. Let's sing. What else, Spirit? We like it. We like it a lot. Show me more. I'm excited for you, Virgo. My cheeks hurt. Y'all know I got these high cheekbones. I got the Janet Jacksons with the dimples. You know what I'm saying? And my cheeks. My cheekbones hurt. I'm excited. Silence and the noise. 
no, silence the noise. It says noise creates illusions and problems out of nothing. Go deeper into your heart so you may find the truth. Child, when I tell you the universe trying to work work this out for you, they, they almost pushing you. They almost pushing you. The universe is trying to work this out for you, Virgo. I'm excited. You hear that chime? Somebody may be getting you, sending you a message. This person probably is going to communicate with you. Divine feminine. For my divine feminine spirit wants you to balance your emotions. You're making yourself vulnerable, being too much in your feelings. Don't overthink. Trust the divine time and trust the universe it says your feminine energy is out of balance and can leave you vulnerable learn to use your feminine power wisely yeah you got the power learn to use it to control the situation control the room you know balance the energies around you you're powerful you really could do that okay and even for my males, if you're too much in your heart space and too emotional about things, that could be a problem, okay? Try to find some balance in these situations. I love you guys. For a personal, book me at closer to the number 2 mydestiny.com and I will see you soon. Bye, lovies.